Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up an ASUS model G751J for repair or upgrade. So first what you want to do is rem remove these little um, rubber things. So what I use is I just use a little thumbtack or needle, stick it in the little hole, and then just pry it to the side to pull it out. Um, so there's four up here, two here, and then four more down here. So once you remove all those, you want to take the screws out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So remove all those screws and then lift this thing up. So you can use like a flathead screwdriver or something. So lift that and then take the screw or um, undo the screw here. It stays in place because there's a little washer thing holding it. So once you do that, you can pull on this tab once you get it. The corner up a little bit I like to use my nails to go underneath and then just pull it so there's a lot of clips here so it's kind of hard to pull but yeah just pull on it and you should be able to get it out okay so the clips on the side kind of grip in so what you want to do is when you pull it on the middle kind of flex it like this and that'll help get the clips out okay after you get all those clips out then you can see in here there's two slots for RAM on the other side, there's two more slots for RAM. So first what you want to do is remove the key, um, the hard drive screws. So each hard drive is held in by four. And then you just slide it to the side like this. Okay. Just set these things aside. So take the one hard drive out here. And then take the other hard drive out here. Um, yours might have a M.2... Um, I believe this is this might be an NVMe slot, I'm not sure. But it looks like there's a slot here for an SSD, so you might have that. Okay. So once you do that, there's screws under here as well. So um, you want to remove this one screw here. That will allow you to take out the CD drive. So once you do that, just get your fingernail along there. And oh, if that doesn't work, let me pop this back in. If that doesn't work, what you got to do... Um, is take a needle Let me see here so get a needle and on the side you'll see um, this hole here uh, it's kind of clogged with some gunk so I don't know if it'll work is it that one maybe it should be this one yeah okay so sorry I had to clean the gunk out I didn't see what I was doing but yeah just get the needle in there and then push it and it'll release that okay once you do that you can actually pull the tray and try and pull the sides. Don't like grab underneath because you can damage stuff. So just pull the side here and kind of wiggle it. There you go. All right. Okay. So set that aside. All right. So once you get that, there's three more screws under here. You want to remove these three as well. And then, so we already got the CD one. So there's one here, two, three, four more. All right, and then that should be all the screws. Um, so once you do that, <coughs> flip it over. Okay, so on the back here, right here, this piece comes out. So what you want to do is just get between the layer here and just pull on it. Okay, just like that. So go around, go on the sides like that. It's a little bit tough to get out because there's like these weird flat pieces. And be careful because there's a wire underneath. So just go around. Um, this part goes all the way down here, so it's not up here. Okay. So just kind of pull that, wiggle it. And remember to be careful because there's actually um, a cable connected for the speakers underneath this. Okay. So just be kind of careful with it. It gets stuck because they have like some longer bits of plastic sticking out that it gets caught. So just let's see, so the plastic kind of protrudes out like that. And then let's see here. So these plastic things stick out in the back. All right, so let me see if I can show this. I can't really hold it with, so let's see if I can rest on my arm and do that. So basically this, this cable, you have to kind of pull on one side with, one, with two fingers and then pull on the other one with your other two fingers. So grip it like this, okay, with your fingernails, and then the other one you have to kind of grip too. I don't know if I can show this on camera. So 
there we go. Okay, so basically like that, okay? You unplug it. There were some little rubber things in here. Um, I took them out because, I don't know, they don't really do anything. So I just took them out. Um, my guess is maybe they were putting it on top of the screw so that the adhesive prevents it from twist untwisting itself. But yeah, so then comes the difficult part. So what you want to do is open the screen. So you can see this one, the keys are all messed up. So I have to replace the keyboard. So what you do is you have it open like 90 degrees like this, okay? Then you go to the, the edge here and you just go around and then pull it, pull the edge back while you push on this. And then you have to kind of pry this out. I don't know if I can do this with one hand while holding the camera to show a close up view, but I'll try my best. So just go around. This one has some broken pieces. Okay, be careful with the, the CD drive slot because you can actually break that plastic. Okay, so once you do that, okay. Just be careful not to drop this piece too far because the cables are connected in there. So once you get it um, separated enough, um, this you kind of have to pull up. So pull it up so it comes out from there and then lean it a little bit, okay? Just be careful not to lean it too far because you still have to remove all these connectors here. So there's a bunch of these connectors that you kind of have to flip this little tab here like that. Once you flip the tab, you can pull the connector out. Okay, oh, I pried it. In. There we go. Okay, then you can pull the tabs out. There's four of these, so there you go. So this big one's the keyboard, this is the backlight, um, and then what's that? Touch, oh, those are the buttons, and then the trackpad. So the trackpad buttons, and then the trackpad cable. Okay, once you get all of that, um, the back might be a little tricky to get out from under there. Um, but basically, you have the screen open like this, about 90 degrees, so it's like a right angle. And... While you're lifting this, while you're lifting it kind of, you have to kind of pull it back, slide it, okay? And you might have to adjust the angle a little bit to get it because it'll get caught um, on the bottom. There's like things that get caught. So kind of just wiggle it while you're pulling it and it should come out like that. Okay, and then be careful with the cables underneath. You don't want to damage them. Okay, so the keyboard on this model, if you're replacing this whole piece, then it's not bad. Oops get that cable out all the way but yeah if you're replacing the whole panel it's not that difficult to do but um the keyboard itself let me show you so on the back of this it's this silver thing this metal thing is held in by melted plastic so it's kind of a pain um what i've been using recently to put it back after basically you have to cut these plastic pieces off and break them off and then you can lift this metal plate off and then the keyboard's going to have a whole bunch more. So if you look at the replacement keyboard, you can see all these holes. That's where the melted plastic will go in um, from the from the back of the keyboard. So it's kind of tough to replace this keyboard. Um, so hopefully if you can find, try and find this whole panel, it costs more, but it'll be easier for you. Um, but yeah, this is what the bottom of the keyboard looks like. So you see the keyboard buttons the trackpad or the trackpad buttons the trackpad and then keyboard cable and backlight cable okay so now you can see the SD card slot is on a separate connector there's a cable here so if you damage that you can replace it no big deal you can see the RAM here so this is 8 gigs DDR3 12800s all right you can see the fan here um, if you need to remove the screen there's actually all these, there's a plate here that's covering the hinges here, right? Same on this side, so just be careful with that. And the battery, I don't know why they designed it like this, but you have to take everything out just to get the battery out. So there's the connector here. Actually, maybe this model's different. No, it looks like it's stuck. Yeah, so I think, uh, oh, you don't have to take everything out, but you at least have to take off the screen, I think. So... Unless this design has the screws underneath the motherboard, which I worked on another one and it did, so it might be the same. 
Um, then you got the wireless card to get the antennas out. Remember, pull up from the back, just like my other videos. Don't pull from the front or you'll damage this, okay? Just pull the tail up straight from the back. It'll kind of tip diagonally forward. It'll flip up like that, and then it'll come off. And then when you put it back, just line it over the hole. You can tell it's lined up when you try and move it, and it just stays there, and then just push down. Um, if it's not going, don't push too hard because you might damage. Just make sure it's lined up. So you got this cable here for the two USB 3 ports. It's connected here. So if you break those, you can replace this little board. Um, then you got the DC jack here. Um, I don't know if this board is actually for the DC jack. Sometimes it's underneath. But um, I think, yeah, that might be for the DC jack. So you got the DC jack board. And then the whole logic board you can see. All right underneath all the heat sinks all underneath i'm not going to take that all out um if you know how to take all this out you should be able to take the whole board out so yeah if you don't then you probably don't want to mess up your computer so don't do it um, but this is the lcd cable connector all right and then this this connector this is going towards oh i think that's the speaker cable it just extends it all the way out here out to here yeah so that's the speaker cable and that's pretty much it so oh then there's one more speaker here i think this is the subwoofer um board because it plugs to this which looks like a speaker subwoofer speaker all right that's pretty much it i'm pretty sure this one like all the rest um, have a soldered in CPU that if you want to check you can probably look up the motherboard model number based on this Just look up for this computer motherboard on like eBay or something Then people will be selling it with the thing that you can see both sides and That's usually how I find out how a lot of these computers are assembled if I can't find like a video or anything online I'll look for pictures of the parts online and just from looking at it you can tell like this one has all these little holes and it'll be a pain um for this model i couldn't find the whole panel um so that's why i opted for just the keyboard and hopefully it won't be too difficult to replace but yeah that's pretty much it hope this helped you um if it did please like and subscribe because that'll help me and if you really appreciated it um Feel free to send me a donation or something so I can continue doing this. Um, the information for my PayPal, Venmo, and Zelle and stuff are all in my um, uh, video description about me page. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.